So hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here. Um, and today we'll be looking at uh, crystals under polarized light again. But the way of making these crystals is a little bit different because we need open fire, okay? So stay tuned, it's one of the most unusual ways of preparing a specimen. I mean, it does go without saying that you do need a safe and a fireproof uh, surface uh, to work on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to light these two matches uh, to burn uh, the heads off. Uh, and uh, to burn the heads off, this sounds horrible. <laughs> but uh, actually, uh, you get the point what I want to do here. You see a lot of uh, residue. Um, and uh, these are the sulfur crystals. And I'm going to look at them. So basically what happens is the following. When we burn a match, the sulfur um, in the head of the match uh, starts uh, to be set free and it condenses on the cold surface of the slide and it starts to form these crystals. So first uh, let's have a look at it without any filters. Uh, of course it goes uh, directly under the low power objective to get an overview. It looks a little bit messy, but as we start to move uh, to the place where the match is uh, burned, uh, it does look a little bit artistic. Actually I might actually frame the picture. What I have here is I've got uh, two so-called linear polarizing filters and uh, what you can see is, is that if you um, put them on top of each other and if you rotate them then you can actually see, I hope you can see this, uh, that uh, there is a certain arrangement when uh, they become completely dark and, and that is going to be the configuration that we need and what we're going to do is, is we're going to put the, the slide with the crystals uh, between the two filters and then we're going to look at it under the microscope. Um, it's also possible to use a certain 3D polarizing glasses, those made of cardboard. Not all of them work uh, but some of them actually um, also use uh, filters uh, when you basically overlap them like this uh, that they become completely dark. Um, so that is uh, basically what we'll be doing right now. Yeah, uh, the first uh, filter is referred to as the polarizer and uh, on top of the polarizer you place uh, the specimen slide and then the analyzer. Um, they have different names but actually both filters are the same. Okay, so it's uh, simply that their use gives it the name. I have to turn them properly and that's what I see. Um, all of those white structures, these are crystals and uh, I'm using currently the 20 times magnifying objective. Unfor unfortunately, I could not get a higher magnification um, because of the, di the small distance between the objective and the filter and I would have crashed my objective um, into the filter. But I think uh, it does look quite nice um, and uh, you can see the individual structures and a little bit of, uh, of color as well. You have to look carefully. And you do not need any expensive equipment, okay? So right now I'm uh, uh, filming directly through the eyepiece. Uh, it does not look quite as uh, sharp because I'm using my mobile phone here. Um, but uh, this uh, microscope uh, is a very low cost one and you can also see that in this case I'm using now uh, the cardboard 3D glasses. Well, uh, that's it. Again, I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, this uh, video. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe it. And if you know a little bit more information about uh, about these crystals, please uh, post uh, post it. Um, uh, the thing is the following. I just read that these are sulfur crystals, but I do not have any concrete evidence on that. So if you know any simple chemical test or any other way of actually showing that these crystals are actually really made of sulfur, then please uh, post a comment. I wish you all the best. Uh, and as always, happy microbe hunting.